Hey guys, Antilog here, and I've finally gotten to this series that I've been wanting to do for a while now called Cheap Good Stuff, or CGS for short. And as the name implies, we go over, well, cheap good stuff. And you can probably tell I'm not very creative by the title. But anyways, for this first episode, I'll be doing a collaboration with my good friend Michael, and he also runs a YouTube channel. I will put his link down below. So for the first episode, the subject will be on power banks. So with me here today, I have the RAF Power 5200 milliamp hour battery bank and also the RAF Power 13,000 milliamp hour battery bank. So starting off with the 13,000 milliamp hour one, it's pretty big and it's really heavy, but it holds 13,000 milliamps, which is a crazy amount. To put that in perspective, you could probably charge a decent sized phone about four times plus half a charge after that. And it's really, really big. So the build quality is pretty nice. It's nothing fancy. It's just plastic as you can see here, but it does look pretty classy. And when you press the button on the front, you can see you have the power indicator indicating how much power that you have left in the battery bank. Now, I would have liked to see an LCD screen to make it more precise, but even though I didn't see that, it's still a nice feature to have. So if you long press the power button, you'll turn on the single LED flashlight and it's nothing too fancy. It's a pretty basic one LED flashlight, but it works in case you need it. I'm not sure why you would, but it's there. So moving to the bottom, you can see this is where all the ports are. Right here, you can see that you have the 2.1 amp charging USB port, the 2.4 amp charging USB port, and this micro USB port to charge the actual battery bank. And finally, there's that LED flashlight that we talked about earlier. The power bank also comes with a mesh bag to store your power bank in and also two USB cables, a micro USB cable that is really short and a micro USB cable that is the standard length. So you have a variety there. So I wouldn't exactly recommend throwing this inside a purse or a pocket because it is really heavy and really big, but this would more like be for a backpack or a luggage if you're going on long vacations and you happen to need that extra juice. But if you wanna have something inside your pocket or your purse, this next item is for you. So the main feature of the RAF Power Portable Power Bank is the portability. It holds 5,200 milliamp hours of battery and it can charge a device up to about two times. And as you can see, it fits in the palm of my hand. It looks very nice. It's made out of an all aluminum build with chamfered edges and overall just feels very, very well in the hand. So of course you can see the power button right here. You have the five volt in for charging the power bank. And finally, the 2.4 amp iSmart USB out. So when you press the power button, it'll show with four LEDs how much battery you have left. Once again, I would have liked to see an LCD screen but for something this cheap, it's not very much of a big deal. Once again, it's just a very simple battery bank, but this one I could recommend sticking this in a pocket or a purse just in case if you need that power on the go. So that has been my part. This is the RAF Power 13,000 milliamp hour battery. This is the RAF Power 5200 milliamp hour battery. And now moving on to Michael's pick. Hey guys, it's Michael, and if you want to check out my channel, the link will be down below in the description. So my battery pack of choice is the Anchor 9600 milliamp battery bank. This power bank is for the power hungry users and travelers. The overall aesthetic of the bank is very clean and has a matte finish. This finish allows for a little more grip so you don't have to worry about it slipping out of your hands. Moreover, I've had this bank for 7 months and it has held up great so far. There is only cosmetic damage like scratches and scuffs around the device. Also, the bank is very slim and can be easily put in your pocket. The bank charges via micro USB and it takes around 6 hours to charge from 0 to 100. The bank sports two USB inputs to charge your devices and can be charged simultaneously. The two ports have an input of 5 volts and an output of 1.2 amps. Going forward, this bank supplies 9,600 milliamps of power. I easily get through three full charges on my OnePlus One with a 3,100 milliamp battery, and there is still a little juice left in the bank. Moreover, shaking the power bank will light up LEDs in a circle showing the battery percentage. 
I really love how Anchor added many increments of the LEDs so I can get an accurate reading of how much charge is left. In all, the Anchor 9600 milliamp power bank is a great purchase for its $30 price point. I would definitely pick this up. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed it.